Now, the wandering stars have always given the philosophers a great deal of difficulty. How do these wandering stars move against all of those fixed stars? And they came up with an idea. They said the wandering stars are actually embedded in crystalline spheres. Remember the crystalline sphere we couldn't see going around the moon? Now they want them going around the Earth as well. And as the crystalline spheres turn, they carry the wandering stars along with them. I said, all right, I'll look. I'll see if I can find some crystalline spheres. So I turned my telescope. Now, what are the wandering stars? There's Mercury. Mercury is uh, often very close to the sun, very hard to see. I couldn't find Mercury when I first started to look. Venus, the evening star. When Venus is in the sky, its brilliance is such that no one can miss finding Venus. Except when I first started to look, Venus wasn't the evening star. It was the morning star, and I don't like to get up that early, so I didn't see Venus. Mars, nowhere to be seen. Jupiter, Jupiter was in the sky. Now, Jupiter is a wandering star. What this means, if you imagine there are all stars here behind me, and you go out one night, look, I will be Jupiter, and you look, and Jupiter will be in front of a star right there. You go out the next night, and Jupiter will be in front of a different star right there. You go out the next night and Jupiter is in front of another different star right there. But every once in a while, Jupiter changes its mind and goes the other way. So the next night you go out and Jupiter is back in front of this star right here. And the next night it's back in front of this star. Now this has caused the philosophers a great deal of difficulty. How do these wandering stars in the crystalline spheres turn and stop and turn and stop and turn? They said, well, they're not actually crystalline spheres. I said, what are they? They said, they're epicycles. I said, what's an epicycle? They said, it's like this. I said, all right, I'll look. I'll see if I can find an epicycle. So I turned my telescope to the heavens, and I found Jupiter very bright in the nighttime sky, but there was something else there. I need three ladies to help me. No, big ladies. Uh, this lady right here. Yes, I saw you volunteer, yes. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh, this lady right here, you're having lunch. This is a good time to come up while you're chewing. Come, come. And one more. Yes, yes, very good. I want you to stand right here. You didn't realize you had to work when you came, did you? But at least she's nourished. All right, I want you to stand right here and you to stand a little closer. Yes. Well, when I turned my telescope to the heavens, I found Jupiter very bright in the nighttime sky, but there was something else there. There were three small, very bright stars all surrounding Jupiter. Now, often you'll see three stars all in a row like this. Uh, the three stars of Orion's belt all in a row. The three stars of Aquila, the eagle, all in a row. But these three stars were separated from Jupiter by not even one half of one degree. They were squeezed right around Jupiter. And I thought, well, this is very good. I knew Jupiter was going this way in the sky. I thought, I could go out the next night. You must forgive me. And I would see this. Now, what I saw, I want you to stand right here. I want you to come all the way down to the end. And I want you to stand right there. I saw this. Now, there had been two stars, Jupiter and one star. Jupiter's going this way. Now there are no stars. Jupiter and three stars. I thought there's something very strange going on with Jupiter and these three stars. I have to go out again the next night to find out what happens to Jupiter and these three stars. And what do you think I saw when I went out the next night? No, I didn't see anything. It was raining. <laughs> but I waited one more night, and now I saw... You must forgive me. I saw this. Now, I know sometimes Jupiter moves like this through the sky. And I know sometimes Jupiter moves like this through the sky. But I've never seen Jupiter doing this. There's something wrong with these three stars. What's wrong with these three stars? Senor, what are they? Moons going around Jupiter? Walk around me in circles, please. Go, go, go. Stop. Go, go, go. Stop. Go, go, go. Stop. 
They are moons. A big hand for our moons. Thank you very much.